Five-ish years ago, I got a hair transplant in HRBR and about a year ago, I was in with them for a checkup and they said, do you want us to do a little top up on one side of the front of your head to add more density basically? And I was like, absolutely. So if you're curious about hair transplants, what goes on, want a little look behind the scenes, including a stunning lunch I had in there. The lunches are really good in there. Keep watching and you'll see just that. So here I am one very gorgeous sunny morning going into HR Bior. And when I went into the waiting room, I noticed I had made it into basically their prospectus. I know, can you do anything about that? <laughs> so before anything happens, all the experts gather around and basically they're gonna plan out what they're going to do during the procedure. The visual hairline is back here. Yeah. So by increasing the density, it'll have the cosmetic effect of lowering the hairline, which I was actually bringing it too low. The amazing Dr. Morris come over and we went through previous photos of what we did in the first transplant and what we're going to do in the second transplant. It's basically all about filling it out and making it more dense. Then my head gets shaved and all the little pieces of hair are removed and more photos happen. Then my blood pressure is taken while they played Enya for me and my Valium was kicking in, heaven. So the harvesting has happened. Um, it doesn't hurt at all once you get your numbing injections in. And now my favorite bit, you get lunch and then it's back in for the planting. Lighting, don't worry. <laughs> Earlier. Yeah. Oh, it just looks like the same needles from um, my dentist. Because it is. Oh, is it? They're called dental needles. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so, this is all post harvesting after they have removed the hair from the back of my head, which is a good donor spot. And they're about to plant it on the front of my head where I need it. So, how many hairs did you harvest? So, we got 1,469 grass this time. Uh, oh no, almost 3,000 hairs, yeah. Oh, almost 3,000 hairs? Yeah, so there's grafts and there's hairs. So you have one, two, three, and four hairs per graft. So you have over 3,000 hairs and then they'll all go into the front here, just adding density to what we've done the last time. Amazing. So I'm just mapping that out now. So you're my hair gardener. Hair gardener, yeah. <laughs> so this time around, we're just going to use all the grafts to build up density in the very front in that like horseshoe shape. Um, previously I had the whole front covered, but we really want to get as much density into the hairline to match the center, because that's really good density. And you want it to kind of match that as much as possible. So now I'm getting my numbing injections, which will numb my entire head so I don't feel a thing. And you get to pick whatever you want to watch on TV. I picked Aaron Brockovich. I can't stress enough how much the procedure is a doddle. I'm back in HRBR for my checkup the day after my procedure. Let's see what the doctors have to say. I was up most of the night spraying my head because for the first 12, what is it, 12 hours? You have to spray your head every 20 minutes. So this is my little friend. And now I'm on to spraying my head every half an hour. So I have a tiny bit of a break. So this is the solution you have to spray your head with. It's kind of like a saline solution and then just water. And to fast forward, here is me a year later with much more density around the front. And I'm delighted. It's made such a difference. If you're curious about my first transplant, there are videos on my channel. I go into much more detail about the procedure, um, including frequently asked questions and a little interview with Dr. Morris. As a, as a just first step, it's just go and get the consultation done in HRBR and go from there because um, people's needs can be different. You might be um, recommended to go down just the medic uh, medication route, or they might say, no, look, you're a very good candidate for um, the full procedure, so that's what we'll do. But the consultation is step one. They can answer all of your questions and put you right on your journey. So I hope you enjoyed my little um, mini diary from my second transplant, my top-up transplant. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And I'll also be doing a little um, feature on my Instagram. I'm gonna 
do a, probably a question box there as well and gather some questions and then answer the most frequently asked ones. So there you go, I'm delighted. Um, the density has greatly improved. So I wish you well on your journey. Thanks for watching and goodbye.